Hello, welcome to White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. Today I'm just sharing with you one of the projects that I am working on. So what you're looking at here is a cage of some sort that my husband brought home. I'm not sure what it is for. He asked if I had any use for it. And it's been sitting here for nearly two years now. So, as you know, in the garage, my little greenhouse that I have, I now have it connected to one of the heat vents in the garage, which means that I won't be able to take it outdoors, but I am still going to need a greenhouse outside. So, today I opened up this cage and looked at it to see what I could do with it and if I can turn it into a greenhouse. And as it turns out, yes. I'm able to turn it into a greenhouse and those rubbles that you see on the ground there is actually what remains of an old screen door and then I have another screen door there that I'm going to be dismantling as well so that I can get the glass off it so on the surface of this little greenhouse here the glass that I took off the first screen door I put it on top of here I'm going to be creating a framing for this glass so that I can have it nice and neat and the good thing is that I can easily disassemble the entire greenhouse when fall comes so I was able to create some shelving in here I need to clean these things out and sterilize them so when my things that are in the greenhouse in the um, in the garage and those things in the house need to come outside to be hardened off i'm going to be using this as a greenhouse so it has two doors it has one door here And then here it has another door so I am able to access everything in the greenhouse with relative ease depending on how I put the trays in there so this is what I worked on for today I only have enough glass to do the top and one side of the greenhouse so what I'm going to be doing then, well, I think I can do two sides of the greenhouse, one on the short side there and the other piece on this end here. So the front and the back of the greenhouse will not have any glass. So for those areas that will not have any glass, I'm going to be using plastic to ensure that the greenhouse is fully covered. So this is one of the outdoor projects that I am working on. I need to take out all of these trays and sterilize it. But that is just a matter of time. For now, I'm just putting them in here because they were originally sitting in one of my raised beds. And I'm cleaning up my raised beds because I'm going to be putting the plastic in the raised bed in order to help the content of the bed to thaw out quickly and to heat up the raised bed because that is going to be my corn and sweet potato raised bed so it needs to be warm so I'm just gonna go over there now since I've got this material out and I'm going to be putting the plastic on so the plastic that I have, it's not enough to cover the entire raised bed, but it is enough to cover most of it, which I think should be good enough. It is quite windy, so I'm going to have to put some boards. 
I'm going to have to put some board on top of it to keep the plastic in place. And this is what they recommend doing in my province if you're going to be growing sweet potatoes outdoors because the growing season is not long enough so we need to do as much as we can to provide as much heat for the sweet potatoes as we possibly can This year, as you can see, my pallet is my <laughs> my raised bed is made from pallet. This one. So what I'm going to be doing is putting soil in these two sections, and then I'm going to be using that so, um, these two sections to plant herbs. And those herbs are going to be the type that repels pests. So that is my goal for this for this raised bed. So this is my update on what I am working on today. If you enjoy my video and you would like to see more, please give me a thumbs up. You can leave a comment in the section below. If you're new to my channel, Please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these. Thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful day. Yemen, yeah it's time to grow.